So we're standing in the village of Northfield on Water Street next to the Dog River and this is a very densely developed village neighborhood. There are about 80 houses in this neighborhood that were flooded out of 100 total and the ones right along Water Street and just to the western side of Water Street really had very high water at very high velocity, um, as high as four feet in the first floor of the homes. There was um, an area in the middle of the neighborhood where the water was certainly over my head at the height of the flood. So there was a home on this site and a detached garage um, and those have been purchased by the town with funds from the state of Vermont from FEMA as well as funds from housing and urban development. We've purchased and demolished 12 homes. We have grants to purchase three additional homes and we have grants to elevate three homes for families who decided that they really want to stay in the neighborhood. We got these grants from the State of Vermont Hazard Mitigation Grant Program uh, and for the buyouts there was a matching fund available um, from Two Rivers Ottaquiche Regional Commission. In my role as the zoning administrator, I'm also the floodplain administrator for the town. Something that unfortunately many people don't realize is that when their home is damaged by flooding, they have to get a zoning permit in order to repair their home. And if the cost of the repairs exceeds 50% of the value of the home, that's called substantial damage or substantial improvement. And if there is substantial damage, those homeowners are then eligible for the acquisition project or they're required, if they're going to make repairs, to elevate their home to a foot above base flood elevation. So as people came to see me to get their permits to make their repairs, I was able to work with people one-on-one -on -one to talk about the acquisition program, how it might work for them, whether they were eligible or not, and so forth. So through that contact with every homeowner in the neighborhood, um, we got the program rolling. If we complete the buyout project as planned now, the town will own a four or five acre contiguous area. Also, the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board will hold an easement on that area that will require public access to the river. So the town hopes to do something with that piece of land that is an amenity for the neighborhood. And it may just be passive recreation, some nice landscaping, um, walking paths, that kind of thing. We're out here on Cochrane Road in Richmond and Cochrane Road sits parallel to the Winooski River and the Winooski River is about 300 yards out uh, behind us, um, right over there by the highway. And we are at a piece of property that was bought out. Uh, the town of Richmond helped facilitate the buyout uh, where a property owner was willing to participate and um, FEMA provided the funds for the town to buy the property, remove the structure, and then the town has the obligation to keep that, uh, this property in um, open space. It was sitting on a, on a full foundation and the first floor probably sat about six to eight inches off the elevation of the, the land and the water came in. It did fill the basement and was a few inches deep inside the the living floor of the house. It wasn't something they were really ready to act on as soon as the floodwaters receded, but um, following the, f the few months after the flood, expressed interest in the program and the town was willing to help them in that process. Uh, the town of Richmond is actually currently in the process of applying for more HMPG funding uh, to elevate homes that are located in the floodplain. Um, the idea behind the elevation program is to physically elevate, to physically rise up the house, elevate it up above the floodplain to help decrease the amount of flood damages that house might be susceptible into the future. We got quite a bit of interest from property owners who enroll in that program, so we're submitting an application where we anticipate getting funds to elevate about eight to ten houses in the town of Richmond. The process of working from with FEMA can often seem lengthy. It's not a quick process, but it is one of the few funding sources that is available for people 
If they are substantially damaged or if they do want to elevate their homes, we've had some state contacts that have been good to work with, that have been able to help us through the application process. Um, so while it can seem kind of lengthy, um, ultimately the funding that they offer can help communities um, and help their property owners against future flooding. The application process is daunting. There is a lot of paperwork to submit, but if you don't mind paperwork and you just keep following the directions, you'll get there and it's the right thing to do for the people in the neighborhood.